Hello, welcome to Joyful Angel Oracle. I am Angel Your Joy. Thank you for joining me. For the weekly oracle offering, we are calling the Oracle of the Dragon Fay, as offered by Lucy Cavendish. I will open with the invocation. You can, if you like, set your intention and focus your awareness. I ask the divine energy of love that permeates the universe and bonds all in one to guide each of us seeking into the highest truth we are ready and willing to understand. And so it is. In the opening of the week, the Oracle of the Dragon Fay offers number 32, Lady Luna's Magic. Synchronize with lunar time and energy. Lucy offers, Lady Luna Speaks. You know that I shine upon this earth and that we belong to each other. Yet you have disconnected, for all your knowledge, when only a few moments spent beneath my rays would cleanse your entire energy field, assisting you in shining your light at the full moon. And with my dark time you may go within and find the secrets you have kept hidden from yourself and look at them without blame or fear. So I ask you now, as my moon dragon fay fly about me, sending the energy ever turning to connect with me, Lady Luna. When you do connect, you will be more complete, and the yearning and sense of hopelessness that I feel from you from time to time will ease, be soothed, and finally, dissolve. Take my healing powers and light as yours, as they are. Reflect upon me and I will reflect upon you. And your dreams and visions will gain in strength, clarity and power, all while keeping you safe and grounded. My light has ever shone over the dragon fade the magical world, the beings you call human, and all of those animals and plant kingdom, the minerals, the dreams, and the flowers, and all are mine, and I am theirs. My light ran through the veins of your ancestors, and they understood me better than you, for all your knowledge sometimes do now. Please, let us be friends and companions once again. Do not be afraid of my light and my nighttime self, for you as the same as me. And we are both older than time itself. Lucy offers, working with Lady Luna, learn your moon sign. This will give you many clues as to who you are at the core of your being who you are under the layers and layers of unmagical conditioning that can rub away and erode our natural intuitive abilities and magical gifts. And coming to the middle of the week, the Oracle of the Dragon Fay offers number 20, the Pen Dragon, pure male energy. Lucy offers, the pen dragon speaks. I am he who is the hunter, the sage, the father, the provider, the protector. I am he who watches over his people and does his best for his family. 
I am he, your brother, your father, your husband, your son. I am sheer, powerful, masculine energy, and I am the lover of the goddess of the dragon fade. Together we create wholeness. Apart, we wander alone and are more easily wounded, even destroyed. I have a role to care for others, to use my physical strength, and to use my attributes to fight for those I love. And I will do that. I am king and emperor and god, and I care for you. Do not fear me. I would not hesitate to sweep you into my arms and hold you. I love you, but know that my role here takes me away many times from all the love and playfulness that still lives inside of me. Trust in my actions. See the truth and choose a partner who is in action a strong and caring manly man. If you are a man, then this is what you must become. That true masculine hero, that being of protection. No matter what you may believe about heroic men, it's time for you to embrace your hero self and become all of who you are. Do not debase masculinity. Respect us men for what we are, and we will show you our love. We will not let you down, and we will take care of you. That is not to say you are weak. We merely ask you to receive that which we wish to give to you. Let us be strong in our own way. Let us care for you, and let us warn you away from that which would hurt you. I will protect, I will provide. I will build a home, and I will bring food to the table. I will build this home with my hands, and you will see the evidence of my efforts. And I will love you. That is my job. And I will never let you down. When working with the Pendragon, Lucy authors, begin to list and feel and think of some of your positive experiences with men in this lifetime, from moments with your father to times when a man has acted honorably. Now from those examples, begin to allow more of that version of masculine energy into your life. Gradually, let's change your ingrained and sometimes negative beliefs about men. And when Pendragon walks in, he demands that you treat the men he sends your way with respect and honor, just as he will treat you in return. You will notice that ignoble men no longer have a place in your life and that you are no longer attracting them. Indeed, Pendragon wonders why you would waste your time with people who do not behave in a noble fashion and he does not want you to be involved with men who behave deceitfully, who are fearful of their own power, or who take advantage of members of their own family or their partners. Ask yourself if you feel uncomfortable with strong men. If the answer is yes, then the Pendragon's presence indicates that you can work on issues of feeling disempowered by being around strong men. By being a strong man or woman and having positive connections with other strong individuals, you can only benefit. True power begins within. Your solar plexus may often ache when your own power is somehow being diminished by your fears regarding control and authority figures. Loving power is a wonderful thing. Pendragon will powerfully and clearly and very directly assist you in replacing outmoded patterns and beliefs regarding men and relationships with powerful, loving, caring examples of men who love commitment and children, and most of all, you. <laughs> and upon the close of the week, the Oracle of the Dragon Fay offers number 38, the Sovereign, Gentle Power. Lucy offers, the Sovereign speaks. 
It is not our desire to possess power, but to radiate it out in ever-increasing waves, sending those seedlings of empowerment into the world, taking root in all your hearts. We do not hold on. We allow this power to extend out, to flow, and to be yours too. To be a queen, to be the sovereign of your world, is not what so many beings feel and dream it to be. It is not about the instant fulfillment of whimsical desires, nor is it the power of enjoying personal luxury while others suffer and lament. It is to be a caretaker and an example to all. I ask you now that if you wish to be treated as royal and as the sovereign in your world, you must become truly royal. Care for the others around you, walk amongst them, bear yourself with dignity and courage, no matter the circumstance, and know that no small thing is too humble to be of interest to you. Look around your world and see where you have confused the fulfillment of desire with the role of sovereign. And take up the mantle of that role in your life now. It is no burden, but it is a responsibility. You are queen. You are sovereign. You are the one who creates your world. Like it or not, you are the one who must change the order of what is and bring about the change you wish to see elsewhere by bringing it forth from within yourself. In working with the Sovereign, Lucy offers, Feel your own soft majesty. Feel your power now, and express it through living in integrity. Be responsible beginning now and incrementally taking the vibratory level up gently each day for your world. Care for the earth by recycling and composting, and consuming in an aware fashion. Exert gentle influence by being a wonderful example to others. Be your magnificent, sovereign self, as this dragon fay lady guides you back to the path of true and deep glory not the glory of the material, or of the attention, or the fame, which are all simply clutter, but to truly care for yourself, to have the freedom to choose your role, and to have the right to create a luxurious and sumptuous and beautiful environment in which to dwell, and to bear yourself with dignity and regal splendor, without others trying to cut you down to size again. This is what you must do now. Your integrity or theirs. No longer believe the untruths of those in authority. Become your own authority and live in the light of your own truth. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for opening to all the deep and glorious messages being offered. There is much astir. There are many levels of shifting and transformation and occurrence. Allow love and grace to guide you. Be well. I will join you again next week.